Good afternoon guys from our next video here in Jordan and in today's video we're going to be taking a Jeep cruise out into these insane Martian landscapes. We've got the whole squad here. By the whole squad that means four of us. We got Harry, we've got Sophia and we've got one more time. Atala. Atala, Atala. I'm gonna get it. Take number three. Atala the man, he's the driver. Apparently he's a crazy driver in the best possible way. Thanks. So yeah, we're, gonna, we go. we're gonna be seeing some uh, beautiful landscapes today and yeah. uh, ripping through, yeah? I hope that. All right, inshallah, inshallah. it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> Yalla, bina khaye? Bina khaye. Yeah, perfect, perfect, let's do it. So guys, that's where we're staying at, the Hassan Zawadeh camp. And uh, we're starting our engines. I'm not sure when he's just gonna gun it, but I bet it's gonna happen out of nowhere. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, here we go, full speed ahead, brother. Yalla, yalla, yalla. All right, we're starting off with an easy side. We're just on the uh, normal road, and at any point, I'm seeing tire tracks out here, so it might just cut out of nowhere. We'll see how crazy of a driver he actually is. Let the games begin. You guys ready or what? Ready. Oh, oh yeah. Last one on win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the first five minutes or so coming out here, it's on some pretty tough dirt. It just rained last night, but I think we're about to switch over to some sand. Oh, there we go. Much smoother. I was just thinking, I was I was saying that like it's gonna be the competition first one to throw up and so Oh and back to the hard stuff, back to the throw up competition. Keyfog! Oh. oh we got horse riders out here too. Yeah, yeah. Let's see a gallop! Gallop! Yeah. Racing. Hey, you got a little bit of everyone out yeah. here. Alright, I think we're getting more into the Martian landscapes now because the uh, color of the soil, the color of the sand or rocks, whatever the uh, compounded earth is over here. Is turning much brighter in red. Hey, keep up, bro! We got the horses racing the trucks. I feel like the action is gonna start picking up, guys. These formations over here are insane. They almost remind me like of what's inside of a cave where you have like what are those things called again? Like inside of a cave where they like drip down. I feel like you would know. It starts with an S. It sounds similar to your last name. Sounds, no, it sounds similar to my last name. Yeah, yeah. Like hard to say, hard to remember. Hi. Stagnites, there we go. Yeah, not super close to your last name, yeah. but it's similar, you know? Stagnites, same, <laughs> yeah, same, yeah, same, same thing. Same thing, yeah, yeah. Looks like we're arriving to a little stop off over here. Photogenic spot. Oh, we got a gift shop here too, yeah. So this is a tourist hotspot right here. Well, look at that rock formation though. It looks like a mushroom. Yeah, can I climb to the top? Yeah, yes, but I think it's difficult. Uh, you need to be an expert level climber. Like, yep, that's, that's definitely not me. <laughs> Harry? I'll give it a go. You I might not go? end up alive, but I'll give it a go. Yeah, give her a shot. Should we hop out? See how this Martian sand feels? Ah, all right. Let's try this out. See what it's like. Oh yeah. Oh, look at how orange that is. Mm, it reminds me of that. What's that Jordanian food that looks like orange hummus? It looks just like it. Let's go ahead and uh, climb up here and get a quick shot of what this thing's like. So if you're an expert climber, you can probably get up to the top, but you'd have to be quite good. It's probably, uh, I'd say three meters, two and a half meters tall to get to the top. Why don't you just pull up on it? I don't think so. Here, let me see. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to. I haven't been working out. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> I was going to try, but I was like, you know what? I do not have... I stopped working out like three months ago when I started traveling again. Guys, that's one of the challenges is I can't keep a routine, so... These things definitely got much smaller since back in the day, but uh, we can cruise around here. See what we can see on the other side of the mushroom. Uh, there we go. This might be the trick. The question is, is it possible or is it not? Ugh. Nope. Definitely gonna die doing that, so. Good for a quick little stop here. Where to next, Kaye? Next, Lawrence Kiev. Oh, perfect. We can beat the crowds too, you can gun it. Yeah. All right, Yalabina. All right, here we go. Our man's is really going into second gear now. We're getting some solid speed. Full Sendero, baby. Full Sendero. We got Sophia catching some sinnies with the phone. Look at those angles. <laughs> and Harry catching those sinnies and leaving everyone in the dust back there. Ta-ta for now. Oh, we're pulling up to a little uh, cave house. Back to the Bedouin life. Let's go. Yalla. <clears throat> Alright, we're entering into the Bedouin life. Be careful here. Monsters? Oh, it just warmed up. Yeah. Only, <laughs> only here. Oh, I guess. Oh, uh, we're in the Bedouin crib now. <laughs> oh, these guys must have been shorter back in the day. 
a little shorter to be able to fit in these tight spaces. Are you guys claustrophobic? No, no. I'm good. No, all right. Coyote. <laughs> wild coyote <laughs> footprint? This is definitely not a trainer mark. No, it's a wild hurry. <laughs> Harry <laughs> Potter. The Martians of Mars. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy actually how warm it is in here. Like outside it's a little chilly. Yeah. We came in here and it just like warmed up. Like it's probably 30 Celsius in here, would you say? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Did someone used to live here? So somewhere uh, like between uh, 25 to uh, 40. 25 to 40 years old? Yes, yeah. Wow. Or that's how long ago? That's That was the last time someone lived here? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah wow. Yeah. Nice. Definitely easy to hit your head on the way in and on the way out. Uh, Harry's a natural cave guy. <laughs> that's Brits spend our time in caves. <laughs> <laughs> the cave life. Oh, we got homemade makeup here? Yeah, he's got his blush. Yeah, should we try some out then? Oh, oh, and we're dropping the glasses. <laughs> we're losing them. Oh, Ooh, it's can like... you do me up? All right. Put a little blush on me. Oh, 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 oh hold on. It's that's strong. strong. Whoa. We got to blend it. We have to blend. Oh, there we go. Actually, you know what? That probably would have worked well over this one. There you know? we go. Look at you. How does that? Do you look like the clown? <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, he got you. He got you all over. Now you look like you've been in the desert, you know, yeah, yeah. for three days and nights. The place we just stopped at was a really unique spot that you can see best from the drone shots because it's where two different colors of sand meet, which caused this insane contrast right next to these unbelievable landscapes that you'll hear, hear me say, unbelievable, beautiful, Martian, everything, like a million times today because it is just blowing my mind and that's the best way to describe this place. Oh, we even got Sophia stepping up for the cinematics. Yeah, baby. Let's go, let's go. Full speed ahead. Yalla. Harry's drone can keep up with us right now. I think we're about to start hitting some big sand dunes over here, baby. Shoe? Oh, we're going oh, down. We're going. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, yeah, full <laughs> speed ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Almost ate shit there. Oh, here we go. That was quite the little slope there. Again, again, Chaye, yalla. This is a smart move. Definitely wear your white shoes out in the desert. They turn red. So you got multicolor shoes after. I think things are really going to start picking up. What do you guys think? Inshallah. 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 Looks like we got a couple more Bedouin camps over there. Small ones though. Maybe one or two tents. Or maybe that's someone's home. Hard to tell from here. Ah, the tourists. Zoom past them. Bloody tourists. Yeah, bloody tourists. Oh, got <laughs> Zoom past them, full speed ahead. Yalla, yalla. All right, we've got some changing landscapes here. Stones are getting a bit bigger. Hopefully our guy stays on the trail, otherwise we're gonna be uh, flipping this thing. Here we go, some interesting formations here. All right, guys, so we're gonna be coming up on one of the most iconic parts of this cruise, or this uh, safari. What would you even call this? Jeep? Yeah, backseat cruising, yeah, through Wadi Room, full sender. Full sender. Basically, it's like this huge arch, and you can get like picturesque photos, especially at sunset. You see where the uh, sun's positioned here, and the arch has that perfect angle to have the sun coming through. So I'm excited to uh, show you guys once we get over there. This is going to be amazing. All right, we just arrived to the spot here. Salam alaikum. You got some nice camels here. Are oh, your camels taking a little piss? <laughs> Whoa, nature's calling, yeah? Yeah. I think Sophia's gonna do a vlog takeover. All right, here we go. Let's see if she's a trained okay. professional. Okay, so we're out here, we're at this cute little arch <laughs> over here with the boys yeah, walking with the around. Boys. With the yeah. boys. <laughs> and really beautiful landscaping. I think the sand here is more white than red. Oh, true, true, yeah. But it's really, really beautiful and hopefully Get some good shots at sunset, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so it's a funny story how uh, Sophie and I met. So basically, uh, I went to Egypt earlier this year, made a bunch of TikTok videos that got quite a bit of traction. And uh, one of my uh, quite a few viewers on the Egypt TikToks was uh, Sophia. And she was yep. going to Egypt and she was like, all right, I'm going to send him a message, get some recs. And uh, yeah, he really helped me out. And I got to use the same person that he used in Siwa. And yeah. Me and my friends had a great time, so yeah, it was yeah. awesome. I know, I was following along their stories. I was like, oh, I wish I was back in Siwa. But uh, yeah, fast forward a few months later, we happened to be in Jordan at the same time, linked up, and we're exploring this insane part of the world. Next step is to climb up to the top of this thing, see what this arch looks like from above. So here's the part where you can climb up, it looks like. Let's see if we can get up. Oh yeah, you coming? Ah, all right. Ah, hello! Not a bad climb up, huh? Not bad, not bad. You can see the arch here with the views in the distance. What a place. All right, guys, here we go. We're going up. So how do you get back down? I'll figure that one out later. <laughs> oh, now we have made it up. Wow. This is up top from the arch. You can't see the arch now, but I can tell you can see some incredible views of this part of the world. Wow. I'm just so blown away. Let's go a little further up, guys. Oh. Getting my workout in today, that's for sure. I guess you could probably keep going all the way up. They say the scary part is getting down. You gotta figure out how to get down from that area. Oh, we got Harry climbing. The lot is going into the mountains. All right, here we go. The real question is how do we get down from here? But I'd say just like this, bending with my knees, and using my weight to fall back rather than forward. So in case I slip, I just fall right on my butt. So I don't recommend trying this at home unless you're an experienced climber. I don't even know if I'd consider myself an experienced climber, but uh, enough to get to the top, yeah? So are we calling you the Instagram girl? Yeah, that's my nickname. <laughs> As you can see, it's a very picturesque spot to get a photo. If you guys want to see what these photos look like, make sure you guys hop on over to Instagram and look up at World Nomad and you can see what these photos look like. Thanks to the legend, Harry, who literally climbed a mountain to help us get some of these photos. Literally, he's on a mountain right now. Literally, yeah. This really looks like a movie scene. This time it's tourists. Salam alaikum. We are Bedouins. Welcome to the village. We're Bedouins with an English dialect. Yeah, real American <laughs> Bedouin over here. Yeah. Just got down from the uh, circle. There he is. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is a muggle. So we're gonna climb up. This is one of the uh, photo spots right here in order to get the arch with the kind of the sun in it. So we're doing a little more climbing. The nice part is like climbing these, there's a bunch of like little like stubs in the rock. So it makes it very grippy on your feet. That said, if you're climbing these types of mountains, make sure you have good shoes for it. I honestly don't have good shoes for it, but I didn't know we were gonna be climbing mountains today. Because sometimes in Jordan, every day is an adventure, guys. Uh oh, we got Sophia right there on the side of the mountain. And we got Harry climbing up. That was the bridge that I was just walking across. Pretty beautiful to see that natural bridge like that. As you guys can see, this is an amazing photo spot. If you look closely on my phone, we've got uh, the sun right up on the right side. We've got camels over there in the distance. And then we get Harry on the left side. I will say running up and down all of these massive cliffs they're giving us quite a workout i liked going all the way up to the top though that was definitely the uh, most picturesque spot although if you climb up to that side that's where you'll get the beautiful picturesque landscape in between the opening of the natural bridge breathtaking as you can tell i'm out of breath got to do more of these hikes more frequently oh looks like it's getting busy here too got the whole squad of jeeps pulling up we have made it back 
a nice view. Yeah, thank you, my Salam friend. Alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Oh, that was an incredible stop right here. I'm I'm just blown away. And want to know what blows me away even more? He just told me there's another arch like this. So we're cruising over there to see it, and it, maybe it's a bigger one. I have no idea. But what I've noticed is most of the tourists aren't stopping here. Most of them are going further down. So I don't know if it's because it's a better spot to grab photos or if it's safer, because obviously only if you're an experienced climber does it make sense to go all the way up. That girl's struggling a little bit in a dress right now to get that Instagram perfect photo, but hey, you know, for the likes, right? It's hard for us Instagram girls. I know, exactly. Yeah. She knows, she knows. <laughs> all right, we're coming up on the uh, Littler Arch. I was thinking it might have been a bigger one, but probably more tourists go to this one because it seems like if you want to go up to the top, for example, to get a photo, it seems like it's probably an easier hike for your average tourist to climb up, but still beautiful nonetheless. See if we can get up to the top here easily. Get a solid workout running up to the top. Ooh, oh yeah, that sand is, honestly, it's harder to climb up the sand hills than it was to climb up some of the rock hills. Whew. Looks like we gotta do a little bit more mountain climbing on this one. This one seems a bit harder to get up. Oh yeah, you got these little wedges to grab onto. Oh, and we're up, guys. Much easier to walk once you're up on top. I caught my breath for a quick second. Cause sometimes it's a bit hard, I'm not gonna lie, to be climbing up this thing with one hand holding the GoPro. So gotta make sure I share all that with you guys. Don't worry, it's not too dangerous, but maybe on the edge. So if you're doing it, be careful with it. Seems like there must have been some concessions at some point right there. More of an abandoned building now. And same on this side. Looks like there used to be some, some spots. Harry found the good spot to get the right angles. Just look at how insane these mountain formations are. Easily one of my favorite places to be just in nature is just out in the desert because it's so peaceful. It probably looks, maybe from the camera, that it might be kind of warm out here, but it's really not. It's like kind of chilly. I'd say around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't know, what is it? Like 22 Celsius, I want to say. Real question, if I can get down from here easier than I got up, because there is a lot of sand on here, but <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Mars, man. Yeah. Looks like we left one behind. All right, and we're done with the uh, natural bridges. Now we're cruising over to our next spot, which will probably be our last spot because, as you can see over here, we've got the sun sneaking away. But it sure is beautiful. Some serious <laughs> adrenaline. <laughs> we're just getting tossed and turned. Earlier we were ready for this, and now it's like we got the chill sunset. Yeah, we found on the chairs where it bolted down. You yeah. can actually yeah. look on me. Yeah, for real. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh. Oh, shh. Oh I flew out of my <laughs> seat. All right, we have arrived to the place where we're gonna watch the sun travel to the other side of the earth. Right there, that is a Middle Eastern sunset. Stunning. Let's set you guys up for the time lapse here. Nice little fire starting, yeah. Bedouin style, yeah. You have a uh, fine Kleenex. Oh, Kleenex? No. I could go for a little marshmallow right now. <laughs> Honestly, I could go for anything. I'll eat a scorpion right now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> we forgot to eat today. Well, we've just been so jam-packed with things to do. We just for haven't had a chance. Sake, for yeah. yeah. 
but that smells good. Honestly, I could almost eat like one of those charcoals right now. <laughs> Sounds kind of good, you know, because it just smells like a barbecue. Oh, one of these moments though, looking out into the sun. World is insane though. You know, there's so many landscapes that are just absolutely out of this world. And this is one of them. Whenever I go to places like this, it just inspires me to want to go to so many more because it's just like, you go through this place and you're like, how many millions of years ago did this place just like have a bunch of water and like slowly eroded over millions of years and now it just looks like this otherworldly type thing. Don't even know how to explain it, but that's the amazing part about the world. It keeps you wondering always the more you travel. So this right here is what we call a Bedouin fire. Bedouin fire, huh? Out in the desert, eh? Yes. And this is the behind the scenes. We got Harry catching sinnies by the fire, you know? <laughs> welcome to Wadi Ram Adventures. Shukran. You are welcome. Shukran. Anytime, yes. Shukran. All right, then we're seeing our last views of the evening here. What'd you think? So amazing. Like, lost her words, honestly. Speechless. This place just lights up in different colors the last moments of just a little bit of light reflecting here. I'll tell you though, it gets cold. We're getting pelted by wind and we got the jacket, but that's where we're gonna end this video today, guys. Really hope you've enjoyed it. I'll put a link down to this tour in the description below. So if you guys are coming to Jordan, you can come see my man here and uh, have an awesome time. And so make sure you guys tune in for tomorrow's video. I'm gonna be showing you this incredible camp we're staying at that will make you feel like you're on another planet. And it is amazing. I'm super, super excited to give you guys the tour and uh, show you the types of food we have in the evening and wake up to this beautiful, beautiful, otherworldly part of Jordan. So if you guys want to see more videos both here in Jordan and all around the world, hit that subscribe button below. And if you've enjoyed it, smash that like button and we'll see you guys next time.